hey guys welcome back to ray's beautiful happy new year <laughs> i cut my hair uh i've been wanting to cut my hair since last year and i was just like when i was thinking about it for too long and i was trying to like find the perfect time to cut my hair and you know going into 2018 i was just like you know what i'm cutting this hair and i cut it i'm still trying to get used to it and how like i'm going to style it and everything but so far so good my year started really well like i said i came like i woke up literally on the first of january to good news and i'm very very happy i'm just really like excited for what 2018 has stuck for us and i hope that you know for me 2018 is going to be my best year yet i'm putting it out there i'm saying it because you know i just don't want 2017 to repeat itself 2018 is going to be amazing and i hope that it's going to be amazing for you guys also anyway yeah now that's out of the way obviously i'm talking about depression and, it, and its effect on friendship hopefully 2018 i'll be able to speak that's that's the prayer point for this year like just being able to speak on this on this youtube but uh as i was saying i'm going to talk now about depression and its effect on friendship i don't necessarily know what title i'm going to give this video because i don't necessarily have like you know this was not a planned thing it's just i i just wanted to talk about depression and friendship so it might be depression and its effect on friendship um depression dealing with depression um as a friend and stuff like that. i don't know i don't know what i'm going to you know what the title of this video is going to be i used to be a subscriber to a group of girls and they were friends and everything they used to make videos together and suddenly one of them fell out they fell out and one left the group and stuff like that and she just came out maybe i think like i can't remember like maybe three weeks ago she came out saying that um she um basically she she just she was dealing with depression and she felt like her friends downplayed her depression and stuff like that and that just like i've been wanting to talk about depression and friendship for a very long time but i just did not want to be in a bad place to say it and come out come you know come off shady or not be able to express myself without being too emotional about it but i feel like right now i'm in a better place so you know i'll be able to hopefully express myself better okay so i have i have gone through i have been depressed before i have gone through depression you know and i know that i lost a lot of friends just because of my depression because of my anxiety and I, at that point in time nobody really knew that you know i was depressed you know i didn't even know i was deep i just felt like i was in a bad mental state i was just not myself i was not happy i did not really you know term it as depression and you know i feel like at that point my friends were just confused that like you know what is going on with you and even when people come and ask me like what is going on with you when you felt i could not even express myself and say you know i don't actually because i really did not know what was going on with me but at, at that point in time i felt like a burden i felt like i was you know um just imposing my problems on other people and i did not want to be that be that way so even when i'm in a bad place i'm in a bad mood i set out i would exclude myself from all their gathering and everything and even if i go i'll be in a bad mood and even i was like at that at that point in time i'll be angry at myself for being in a bad mood but like nobody you know nobody understood that i was being angry at myself for being in a bad mood i because you don't want to be you don't want to be a problem to your friends you don't want to be a burden to your friends i don't feel like anybody is happy being a burden to anybody so it's just at that point i was just in a very bad state and they know they, they, they will be like oh, this girl is always in a you know bad mood she has mood swings and stuff like that and and me i just felt like wow you know my friends must think that i am such a you know terrible person even when they come even when they ask me like you know what's going on i i don't just have the best way to express myself and say you know i don't know what's going on you know it, it's it's weird because you are in a bad mood and you don't know what's going on what's making you you know be in a bad mood and stuff like that so yes i really really lost i lost a lot of friends and you know losing friends is losing friends god it's so hard it's terrible it's like I remember like being so close to somebody and then we we fell out and because because honestly I, I would say it's because of my depression and I it took me like maybe a year to just even come to terms with the fact that this person was not my friend anymore because 
for me friendship is very important this is someone that i've shared you know so many memories you have that bond with that person and then suddenly there's nobody to call and give gist to or laugh with because you you guys are not just in that place anymore and it's it was hard like i i know that i, I cried just hating myself that i was in that position you know i was in that place that i could not necessarily express myself to this person and then she felt like oh, this when you first do is too much you know let's we cannot just be friends you know because you can't like i could not even blame her at that point in time because i felt like she she has to you know everybody wants positivity everyone wants to be happy everyone wants to be you know in a good place mentally so if you have imagine you're dealing with a friend that you know is going through something and you don't just know how to be there for that person you would want to you you, you and you don't even understand what, what was going on so you want to actually be in a in a positive environment you want to surround yourself with positivity so it was not necessary that i could even blame her I, I spent a year blaming myself like i can't believe that we're not friends anymore and stuff like that and to some people it's not that deep but for me friendship is very 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 important now thinking about it now in this present state i feel like some people don't just know what depression is first of all and some people don't even know how to deal with depression now for me everything is not about me and everything is not about you and that's one key that is one thing to know when you know you have a friend that is dealing with depression or having major anxiety you have to educate yourself number one educate yourself know what what depression is first of all even if you're a mom you're a dad watching this video if you're a sister watching this video and you feel like your 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 um the person you care about is in a bad place mentally and you know maybe she's just um secluding herself and she's on her own all the time she's in a bad mood you know depression comes in different forms you know there are different symptoms of of depression there there are mood swings there are suicidal thoughts um you, you don't want to eat you 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 eat too much you sleep too much when i was depressed i was sleeping the whole time i slept for like three see i slept the whole like in a from january to to april i think you know in a day in one day i slept for like 18 hours i just slept i'll wake up i'll eat i'll go back to sleep and i was so i was in such a bad place mentally and there are different symptoms that that's that's my point like sometimes you really have to educate yourself if you have someone that you care about and you you feel like that person is going through something educate yourself research symptoms i know that you know i'm not your problem and you're not my, you're not my problem but you know that's what love is second thing i would say is that it is not about you it is not about you like i think you need to be in in life like you need to really be selfless to be able to love someone else like i don't know how to explain i don't know if i'm going to explain this in the best way possible but you know like it's not about you like if your friend is going through something like stop making it about like you oh why are you why are you in a bad mood like it's not it's really like it's i'm not it is really not about you i think you, the point is that you have to be selfless in this in the sense that you try and remove yourself from the situation try and remove your your feelings try to be there for that person and say like you know i don't know what you're going through and i don't even know i don't even understand what depression is and i'm trying to be here for you explain to that person if you don't know what depression if you don't know how to be there like if you don't know what to say if you don't know how you if you don't understand what that person is going through explain to that person i really don't understand what you're going through but i want to be your friend i want to be here for you i mean it does not hurt anybody to just be expressive and say what say your like voice out your opinion and stuff like that i just feel like sometimes we tend to shut off and feel like and think of our selfish reasons like if this person is not reaching out to me you're like oh, well what about me rather she care about me too and all of that and sometimes i know i know that it can be stressful having to always deal with that person but i feel like communication communication like expressing yourself to that person and letting that person know that you are there for that person is you know is very very important another thing you should know that is that people people dealing with depression anxiety most of the time see they don't they already feel like a burden 
and that is the truth like no matter how you feel like you know maybe that person wants attention it's a lie sometimes they really hate themselves hate themselves for being in that position for being for being in that bad mental state you think people don't want to be happy or you think that people don't want to you know live life and just you know okay i'm pissed today and i'm fine now or you know instead of like being sinking into a bad state you don't know what they went through anyway children you don't know what um you don't know their past like you don't know what has led them to you know feeling being in that position right now so it's it's way it's bigger than it looks that's just that, that's what i have to say like it's it is way bigger than it looks so your your point your you as a friend you're not supposed to make your friend feel like a burden you're not supposed to make your friend feel like she's being too heavy for you to carry as a friend or he's being too heavy for you to carry as a friend and you know because I feel like it's a phase depression you have to remember that depression and anxiety is a phase you know people go through it and they come out of it and that is that is the amazing part of it like they can come out of it so and you should be that friend that can help your friend come out of it and that's just that's that's how it should be because if you're in a position and you want you 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 feel like you you are helpless you want someone to be there for you and make you feel like you are in you you're going to come out of this phase you'll be fine and you'll be better so that is very very important. and that way you can be a friend and help that person you care about is like researching therapies that that person can go to if you feel like you know maybe that person maybe it's too expensive because i know therapy can be very expensive you can contribute you can give her you can give him or her like um a set amount of money just to contribute for her for the therapy sessions you can send links send articles do the little little things that you can do to support that friend don't just quit on that person don't just leave that person hanging and say oh you know i did not understand it and there was nothing i can i could do this person is just negative this this because now why in this why in this time where people say um positive vibes being mature and being understanding of other people's um other people's situation it's not necessarily that, that person that person is not, not it's not necessary that that person is being negative in your life it's not like that person is just going through a, a tough time and that person doesn't even know what to do you know so it's not it's not negative vibes positive vibes only kind of situation it's not like that person is constantly trying to make you depressed but i just feel like sometimes we are so you know focused on like hashtags and uh, positive vibes only thing and then we don't understand that sometimes like we don't we don't see the importance of being being there and being present as a human being for other people something that is also very important is that you should understand that if your friend comes to you right expressing herself saying that she's depressed she's going to depression you should always even you should even like i think you should be appreciative of the fact that that person decided to open up to you it is very hard to open up to somebody that you're going to depression or you're going to anxiety because sometimes you don't even know what you're going through so like if your friend comes to you you know saying that you know i'm going through this you know i'm in a very very bad mental space i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what i, I don't know what to do it can be anxiety about the future it can be anxiety about, i don't think the best reply should be you'll be fine because that person in like in their head they know that they'll be fine but they just they don't feel like they'll be fine at that point in time and i know that i mean you can say you'll be fine in different ways you don't necessarily have to actually open your mouth and say you'll be fine you get where i'm coming from because vulnerability is very very hard it's attractive it is beautiful but it is hard sometimes nobody they don't just know how to express themselves in that position they don't know what to say they don't know how to you know express that you know i am going through this and when they do they don't want to be downplayed they don't want to feel like oh ah, ah don't worry i remember when i used to um when i was in a very very bad place there was one time i had like a very bad phase of my depression and i went to um of depression not my depression i went to i i think i spoke to my friend about it that was in secondary school this was five, and i can still remember and she said ah uh -uh, what's wrong with you there's, there's nothing wrong with you joe stop overthinking things from that day till today like literally it's not because i i don't like i know that i know that she was not coming for me like i know that she, it was just ignorance and like she she just really did not know any better thing to say but till today i don't just feel like there's any point for me to express myself to you you know and that is 
that is where like that is these are things that affect people you know when you downplay their vulnerability they don't know how to be vulnerable to you so they just feel like you don't care and even if you care the way you show it they might not really understand that that's where you're coming from um another thing you can do is spend time with your friend like you don't necessarily have to spend time saying different things or you don't necessarily have to say oh let's go out sometimes you just really want company you know so you can just spend time with them calm them down when they are like having their anxiety attacks you know be with them calm them like you know just be there for them you, if you feel like you cannot say express yourself look for links look for articles that mirror your thoughts and you can send it to that person just knowing that you're there for that person if you're a christian pray for your friends you know prayer is never just about you pray for your friends pray that pray that they would experience you know a transformation you know like that they would just be in a better place mentally because it's it does affect lots of things in their lives so you can literally pray for your friends spend time with them pray for them give them a hug um and the truth is that if you really really don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all and that's how um depression and anxiety is it's very serious it's very important it's very it's a big deal and no matter how you feel like it's just a state of mind it is a big deal it happens it exists so it's it's way more than just that person decided to be in a bad mood it is way more than that and if you're someone that is going through depression right now or you know you are having you experience anxiety and stuff like that first of all the truth is that you are not alone and sometimes people try to you know make everything look you know make depression look so cool you know i went through depression and sometimes people just downplay it so why or either decide or decide but just understand that you're not alone and I think expressing yourself I know it is hard it is hard to like just exp express yourself to people and say you know I feel like I'm depressed or I feel like I'm going through anxiety I don't know I can't breathe I cannot I'm more understanding I feel like I just want to sleep I want to escape expressing yourself really helps you heal helps you feel better and sometimes it's a risk because you can express yourself to people that do not necessarily that do not necessarily understand and they downplay your emotions i pray that you don't express yourself to people that downplay your emotions i pray that you don't even have friends like that i pray that you really really find people that are ready to you know um understand your emotions and are ready to be there for you that's my that's really my prayer for you because it's hard when you have people that do not necessarily understand and they downplay it and they don't even want to try to understand then go out there meet you go just go to another room and spend time with your friend and just sit down there you don't have to you don't have to laugh you don't have to talk you just have to sit down there and just be among people because when you're on your own you kind of you 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 really have some you you like you house a lot of negative thoughts a lot of negative 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 <laughs> a lot of negative emotions you and i don't mind devil's workshop i'm serious like when you are on your own like you know different thoughts come to you and you can you, it's it is as extreme as suicidal thoughts and you know you just feel like you're not you're not useful you're not you know you don't have any you know reason to be alive and stuff like that but you are important and you are special and you are rare and you know there is something that you are giving to life as far as you are alive as far as you are breathing there is something for you there's something there for you i remember that your mind you have to take control do not allow your mind control you do not allow your emotions control you because you feel a certain way does not mean it's true because you feel you're ugly does not mean it's true because you feel like you're useless it is not true it is not true feelings are not always true your feelings deceive you most of the time your mind is just a playground you can control it and you might let it control you so it's you have a you have a choice and i would I, I would say that you should decide and choose to control your mind and control your emotion yeah i want this year to be really really good for us mentally especially that was that's really really my focus like just to be in a good place mentally to not experience any form of depression any form of anxiety and i believe that we can all be there so if you if you have a friend please be there for your friend and don't just give up on that person please i mean sometimes you have you have to i mean like maybe you can't just handle it it's okay if you've lost friends if you've lost friends because of your mental state and stuff like that it is okay you people god will bring people into your life that are good for you that are ready to 
that would make you even not even like that will make you feel better and just be a better person god will bring the right people to you if you if you lost a friend that friend was meant to go and if that friend comes back being your friend then fine you know just life happens and don't just be so hard on yourself don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and because this year is going to be amazing we're going to be putting out videos you know vlogs and stuff so subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys